Hey guys, what is up guys, and today I actually wanted to bring you a Dragon Ball Super review over episode 69 coming up guys. And I actually did like this episode to be honest guys, this episode was a really amazing episode. I guess as a, a funny episode before the arc even begins, because this episode was pretty pretty amazing. And the next episode is going to be coming too, it's going to be amazing too, because of the, uh, I think the baseball versus universe 6 and universe 7, uh, they're going to have a contest of who, I guess, who's better in baseball. So, um. I like that pretty good, guys. And, uh, now, so today, guys, I actually wanted to talk about it, and let's get right into it, guys. But, um, subscribe if you're not subscribed to my uh, my channel, I guess, guys, because, uh, YouTube has been having a little trouble with, like, subscribers and crap and all that. So, if you have, uh, I guess, if you are subscribed or something like that, um, double check and all that, and, uh, click that little, uh, click that little bell so you can know when I'm going to upload a video and all that, guys. So, uh, let's get right into it. So, apparently, it starts as, um, uh, I guess, the creator as, um, O'Reilly, I guess. Um, I don't know his name. I think we did see him in one of the episodes in Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball. I'm not sure, but uh, um, we did see him, and uh, apparently, uh, they were gonna. Mr. Hercule was gonna say who is the, uh, technically the best. Who was like the I think the year the year of the best uh, scientists and the best creations of the year and all that. So uh, they kind of. They kind of got Boma, and Boma thought she was going to win. To be honest, Boma, I mean, I actually did expect to win in Boma. I actually thought Boma was going to win. Because she technically built a lot of things. She built a time machine. She built a lot of things, to be honest. But apparently, this other guy decided to go and build this thing that if you actually think hard enough for it, you can actually receive it from, I guess, the teleportation, what it, whatever it does. I don't know what it is, but uh, I'm going to call it the magic box. There we go. So apparently... The magic box decides, I guess, he reads your mind, and then whatever comes up to your mind, uh, it technically pops up. The first thing that, uh, technically, who was it? I think it was, uh, Mr. Hercule, or oh, the other guy, whatever, the creator of the machine. The first of all you got is just a porn magazine for some reason. Technically, technically, everything from Dragon Ball has to be related to porn somehow. I don't know, get that, but, uh... Uh, whatever. It's it's really it's, it's it's weird. Dragon Ball sometimes can be funny, sometimes it can be really weird, and oftentimes, to be honest. But uh, um, after that, technically, well, Mr. Hercule guy, I guess he got a wish. I don't even know what he got. I forgot. But um, he got a he got a pretty cool thing. Um, technically, after that, the cre I guess there was a guy kind of into the scenes where he kept saying uh regret. I think regret, regret, regret for some reason. And um, we actually learned that um. Technically, I think regret meant like way before in Dragon Ball Z, somebody regretted all his like creations and all that. So he started saying it more often, and uh, he kind of made O'Reilly. Apparently, he's a creation of O'Reilly, and O'Reilly's supposed to be this robot that she's like super duper OP to be honest. She manhandled uh, Vegeta. Come on, like, honestly, I kind of do hate that kind of like Vegeta is getting right now his ass whooped completely a lot to be honest because like. Vegeta is an amazing character. There's a lot of Vegeta fans out there, and a lot of Goku, Vege and Goku, a lot of fans. I'm personally uh, more of a technically Goku, and I'm half Vegeta, but um, I just like Goku a little bit. But it kind, of, it kind of does suck how uh, they're kind of like putting Vegeta out right now. Like to be honest, and I hope the ne the next arc, I hope the next arc does kind of uh, boost up Vegeta to the point where he gets a little bit more stronger and all that guys. So that'll be pretty cool and all to see. Now apparently, O'Reilly. Uh, like I told you, manhandles uh, Vegeta a lot, to be honest. And whenever he beats the crap out of him, to the point where kind of Vegeta thought she was easy, because, uh, you know, Hercule thought um, that um, technically gave her, I think, I think the creator of her gave her this hype boost thing and told him to go play with the, I guess, the uh, customers, I guess. And, uh, you know, one of them told Vegeta to go, uh, Hercule told Vegeta to go and, uh, tell, um, to go take care of it, technically. And when he tried to do that, uh, you can literally see Vegeta jump out of the, just get manhandled and get thrown out of the freaking building. It was an amazing, it was pretty cool. It got literally thrown out of the building. I was like, whoa. Um, I think I meant O'Reilly. It was a Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball. I'm not sure. But, um, and she's stupid over strong. I know that. Um, and then, you know, Goku sleeping over there. She was, Goku was already sleeping. And, uh, technically... Vegeta got sent out of the universe, apparently. Even look, you can't even see him. Like, just the animation is just really good, to be honest. I liked it. And, um, so, Goku got up, and Goku decided to go check what it was. And, uh, technically, um, he went to go fight versus O'Reilly. And whenever they both fought, uh, technically, O'Reilly broke the physics. Like, not joking around. Like, she literally just hit the ground and technically showed an animation where the planet destroys. 
the planet fully destroyed it, and technically, maybe a second, or like, whatever she did, she just broke the physics, she just annihilated, just, just broke the planet somehow, but, um, that was pretty cool, now, the first thing that Bulma decided to say is, uh, who could be a person that could help out in this situation? So, Boma, the person that, is, that she thought was, okay, Beerus and Wiz. Because Beerus and Wiz are the destruction of the gods, come on. Uh, technically, Wiz is an angel, but uh, God of Destruction is, technically, Beerus is a God of Destruction, so he can do anything. So, apparently, she went to go and uh, tell them, uh, told Wiz, technically, because Beerus is already sleeping, and uh, Wiz told him, uh, can you come over and try to take care of this? And, uh, you know, Wiz, technically, he doesn't like interrupting Barris because Barris sometimes he sleeps. And, uh, technically, when he gets mad, he destroys the planet pretty often, to be honest. So, Wiz decided not to uh, technically awake Barris up until they technically fought. Because, you know, Bulma thought if they fought, they were going to definitely destroy the world, no matter what. Bulma, not freaking Bulma. Black, uh, what's it called? Goku, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan versus O'Reilly. The those two OP guys. Fighting in one planet, okay, there's nothing, no, that's not a good sign, to be honest. So, after that, Beerus woke up from all the chaos that was going on, and apparently this robot creator of O'Reilly went to him and said, Wh Whoever you are, I'm talking you to you, don't get in, don't intervene right now, please. And, right when he said that, you know how kind of Beerus doesn't like anybody to talk back to him, Beerus technically destroyed the creator of O'Reilly, and technically that's what Wiz told us, uh, kind of information about him, a fake, uh, technically, uh, fact of, uh, Beerus is that he can destroy anybody, even, th even though you're dead or alive, he can destroy you as a ghost too. He destroyed him, and it was so good, and that's technically where it ended a lot, where the, uh, kind of ended, and I actually like it, to be honest, because of the, uh, how kind of funny it was before the kind of technically hit art comes up and all that guys. So the next technically, uh, the previews popped up as uh, technically uh, Yancha and all them. The Universe 6 and Universe 7 are competing into both of them and see who's better. And I think technically baseball and they're both playing this sport called baseball and all amazing stuff. And uh, I like it. To be honest, they even showed the animation where technically Yancha was, uh, I guess, <laughs> throwing the ball, I think. Or uh, yeah, throwing the ball and it showed like the wolf thing. Uh, Fist and all that, so uh, that's pretty cool. I like it, guys. So uh, that's technically a review over Dragon Ball Super, guys. So I hope you did enjoy this video. Subscribe and like the video, and then comment down below in a comment telling me what what was your favorite uh, part of this uh, technically uh, episode, guys. So I uh, hope you did enjoy and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, guys. So another uh, guys, uh, thank you very much, and I will talk to you.